Welcome, welcome, Earthlings and everyone beyond, to Atomic Booger. I'm your super smart, science-loving host, Adam. And I'm Booger, your friendly, fiery dragon co-host, ready to sniff out some amazing facts. <laughs> Today, Booger, we're diving into a super important topic, climate change and the future of our planet. Ooh, sounds serious. Will there be fire? Well, not exactly, Booger, but there is definitely heat involved. Well, let me get some iced tea then. Well, get it while you can. This is Atomic Booger! Okay, Booger. You see, weather is what happens outside right now. Like if it's sunny or rainy today. But climate change is what the weather is usually like over a very, very long time. Like 30 years, or even much longer. So, if it's always sunny where I live, that's my climate. I have noticed a little extra bumpy air when I'm flying with my dragon wings lately, actually. <laughs> that makes sense. And climate change is when those typical weather conditions for a region change over a long period. Right now, scientists have noticed that our Earth is getting warmer overall. Many of the warmest years we've ever recorded have happened recently, in the past 20 years. This warming is often called global warming. And many people, including scientists, believe this is a very serious issue that could affect every person and animal on the planet. Oh no! Is this a new problem? That's a great question, Booger. Earth's climate has changed many times over millions of years, warming up and cooling down. We've even had as many as four different ice ages in the past when Earth would have been covered completely in ice. That would help my iced tea, at least. <laughs> but this time is different. The planet is warming much faster than it ever has over human history, even faster than in the last 10,000 years. I would like to say that even though everyone on the planet is experiencing the impact of global warming and climate change, not everyone believes the same thing about why it is happening, or even how serious it is. Some people think that humans are part of the cause, or at least we are making it happen faster because of the pollution and other things we put into the air and the way we use the planet for resources, travel, and in other ways. Other people believe the planet is too big and powerful for humans to really make much of an impact on the temperature of Earth, or how that affects humans, other creatures and plants, or the way we live our lives. That is a big disagreement. <laughs> it sure is. Whatever anyone believes, and whether or not it is happening completely on its own, there's no question the Earth is getting warmer, and the climate is changing. Now for a special story, let's imagine the journey of an iceberg. This isn't just a block of ice, it's a traveler, a witness, and a symbol. Ooh, a story. I love stories. Okay, here we go. Far north, where the world wears a crown of white, a giant iceberg named Isbjorn was born. Wait a minute, Adam. The character in your story is named Isbjorn? Yes. Not Spark like pretty much every other one of your stories? <laughs> I felt this was an important topic today, so the name should be special too. And since climate change is something that affects everyone from every country, maybe a name from another country like Iceland would be a good idea. Iceland. Like iceberg. Funny. <laughs> well played, Atom. Well played. Continue, if you would, oh super intelligent one. Thanks. So Eastbjorn began as a tiny snowflake, pressed and frozen with countless others, deep within a mighty glacier. For centuries, he was part of the land, a silent, unmoving titan. But as the earth gradually warmed, Eastbjorn heard the call of the ocean, a distant rumble promising adventure. One day, with a thunderous roar, a piece of his home calved away. That means it broke off and Isbjorn broke free, 
plunging into the icy sea. His perilous journey began. He drifted a majestic white mountain under vast open skies. Fierce winds sculpted his sides and the sun day by day began to whisper of warmth. He saw incredible creatures like polar bears who padded silently on the ice around him, curious seals peering from the water, and seabirds that soared overhead, calling out warnings in their ancient language. But as Isbjorn traveled south, the waters grew less cold. He felt himself shrinking, water dripping from his majestic form, adding to the vastness of the ocean. Each drop was a memory a part of his glacier home joining the global sea. He knew his journey would end when he was fully part of the ocean, but he found inspiration in this transformation. Oh no, poor Isbjorn. <laughs> his melting wasn't just an end, it was a promise that his water would continue to sustain life, circulating through clouds and rain, becoming part of new rivers and even new snowflakes. Isbjorn, the adventurous iceberg was returning to the cycle, reminding us that even great changes are part of life's journey. Wow, that was super cool. Speaking of cool, I've got some jokes. Why did the ocean break up with the land? Hmm, I hypothesize it's because it was just tired of the high tides and low tides relationship. The tides are slowing down Earth's rotation. Nope, it is because it was becoming too shellfish. Like selfish? Bingo! Very clever, Booger. Okay, my turn. What do you call a sad strawberry? A disappointed plant. A blueberry. Because its future might be affected by climate change. Okay, one more. Why did the tree get kicked out of the forest? Because it was talking too much on the wood wide web. That's funny too, but close. Because it kept leaving all its trash behind. We have to remember to protect our forests. And that's no joke. All right, amazing scientists. It's time for our three super fun facts about our planet. One. Did you know that Earth isn't perfectly round? It's actually a little bit thicker around the equator by about 0.3% too. There are an estimated three trillion trees on Earth, which is more trees than there are stars in the entire Milky Way galaxy. Scientists estimate the Milky Way has between 100 billion and 400 billion stars. That's 10 times smaller than the number of trees on Earth. Even so, we have to be careful the trees don't go away too quickly because we need them to keep us alive. And three, get this, Booger. Sharks were swimming in our oceans over 400 million years ago, long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Dinosaurs lived between about 245 and 66 million years ago. Whoa, sharks are older than dirt. <laughs> Well, older than dinosaurs, at least. They certainly are. And these facts remind us how truly amazing and ancient our planet is. But all these changes, like our sea levels rising from melting ice, affect us and all the plants and animals. For example, the Arctic is warming four times faster than the rest of the world. This can have huge impacts on delicate ecosystems. So, what can we do? I don't want my future dragon hatchlings to have a sad planet. That's the spirit, Booger. Many smart and brave people are working on this. People like Greta Thunberg, a young activist who inspired people worldwide to care about climate change, or Jane Goodall, who dedicated her life to protecting chimpanzees and their habitats, and Wangari Maathai, who encouraged people to plant trees to help fight deforestation. So even little humans can make a big difference? Absolutely. Even young people's voices are powerful. 
we can learn more about climate change. We can participate in citizen science projects to help scientists collect data. We can choose to plant trees, protect our forests, and help reduce carbon pollution. Even understanding that trees can communicate with each other through underground networks of fungi like a wood wide web shows us how connected nature is and how we need to protect it. I love that. Trees talking to each other. Everything is connected. Exactly. We hope today's episode of Atomic Booger has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to learn more and do whatever is necessary to keep our planet and everyone on it alive and healthy. That's a pretty good mission. That's all for this episode of Atomic Booger. Thank you for joining us. See you later and be greater. Atomic Booger is a production of Light Circle Entertainment, copyright 2025. Produced by Mark Rako. There's much more at AtomicBooger.com. Atomic Booger is intended for entertainment purposes only and may not be the opinion of Light Circle Entertainment or its associates. <laughs> <laughs>